I'm not sure what you're looking to get out of this. Everything behind this gate is a goddamn war zone. Hello, it's Tom with Digital Foundry. So, the Division's beta is at a close, but on to the issue at hand. When we pushed out our original analysis on the Division, a close pixel inspection of each console showed a clear 1920 by 1080 resolution on each. But something wasn't quite right. In matching shots, we noticed image quality on the Xbox One beta was struggling compared to its PS4 counterpart. This meant in practice, text appeared blurrier on distant signs, and there was also what we call sub-pixel breakup on fine detail, like on this roof structure here, which at this distance isn't an issue on PS4 or PC on the lowest SMAA setting at the same range, so something was clearly up. The answer, it turns out, is right here in this opening shot. It turns out Xbox One does have a dynamic resolution at play in The Division, much like Halo 5 and Wolfenstein The New Order did. Essentially it means the game downgrades its resolution on the fly, almost seamlessly, depending on GPU load. Wherever you see heavy volumetric effects and lots of geometry on screen, you can be sure The Division's frame buffer switches to a lower pixel count on Xbox One. It's a clever trick and the exact moment of the switch can be hard to catch by eye, but in The Division it does start to noticeably blur spots, like trees or fine details like text in the distance, when compared to PS4 and PC. So what exactly is the resolution? Well, the short answer is, it varies quite wildly. In this specific shot, Xbox One drops its resolution to 1792 by 1008 as we look to the cab ahead. That's still a lot higher than 900p we get in other titles, and it's around 87% of a full HD image. In practice, it's not a vast difference, but it is there, and can cause these details to lose some definition. As you can see, we're keeping the sharpened image setting at 50% in line with the other consoles, and chromatic aberration off to keep the image clear for analysis. And inevitably, when we look to the sky again, even slightly to force the demanding elements of the scene out of view, the snowdrop ends engine switches itself back to a full 1080p. As you can see, that structure in the corner also returns to its full form, and likewise for the tree branches on the left. But lowering the camera again, it brings us back to 1792 by 1008 again. So yes, overall Xbox One is using a dynamic resolution which can soften the image depending on what you're looking at, though it is more likely to drop in taxing scenes outdoors. It's not a fixed number either, and scales up and down much like it did in Halo 5. In a later case, we see an even lower figure of 1728 by 972, conveniently outlined by the game's colourful HUD on this sign. That's 81% of the full HD picture, and it's also possible Xbox One drops lower in more stressful shootouts, though with yet to see it. For Xbox One fans, it's maybe not the best of news, but we have to bear in mind two things. Firstly, that the game spends long stretches of time at full 1080p, typically while indoors, but also while outdoors in some sections. And secondly, the dynamic resolution is a good technique to keep frame rates locked at 30fps, with only a few drops in this beta on Xbox One, just as Halo 5 had its own price to pay in targeting a smooth 60fps. Anyway, we hope that clears a few things up about the division on Xbox One, and the outstanding question about image quality. If you found this breakdown useful, give us a like or subscribe below, and until next time, thanks for watching.